Welcome back to Bangers Bricks, everybody. My name is Ben. Today, we're talking about the 71 LEGO Ideas submissions that have reached 10,000 supporters so far here in 2023. Let's get started. Before we jump into the 71 submissions that received 10,000 supporters, I want to talk a little bit more about where the LEGO Ideas theme came from. The LEGO Ideas theme actually started out in Japan underneath the name LEGO Kuso. Now, in 2011, it launched worldwide. Now, the cool thing back then was that you actually only needed 1,000 supporters to move on to that next phase versus today, we need 10,000. And it's crazy to think that we have 71 submissions that have reached the 10,000 mark. I know that the LEGO Ideas theme has been out since 2008 and went worldwide in 2011. And I was trying to remember, what are some of the big LEGO Ideas sets that are out there? And just to name a few, there are, we have the Big Bang Theory, we have the Beatles, Yale Submarine, NASA Apollo Set, Old Fishing Store, Voltron, Flintstones, A-Frame Cabin, Lighthouse, Central Perk, Sesame Street, and Home Alone, and obviously many more. But with that being said, I wanted to take a look at these 71 sets and really see how they compare up to some of the awesome sets that the LEGO Ideas team has put, put out. Let's take a look. Let's not waste any more time, everybody. Let's jump right into the 71 product ideas that have qualified for the first 2023 LEGO Ideas review. Now we have 71 products to go through here. In the previous year, we had 51 and I think 13 sets were made or released this year. So I'm interested to see how many they released, but let's talk about some of the sets that I like and would be buying day one. Now, please feel free to tell me in the comment section if I'm completely wrong, but let's jump right in. First, we have Dr. Seuss and Lego, Lego fan 506. I'm a big Dr. Seuss fan. Previous life, I used to be a teacher, so read a lot of Dr. Seuss books. Sweet Honey by Robert the Seventh. Very cool. I like the little stand here on the bottom and definitely could be displayed somewhere within the city. Botanical Garden by Gowanus89. Probably, this might be one of my favorites here. I know, obviously favorite so far. I, again, I haven't gone through any of these yet besides look down the front screen here, but Botanical Garden would definitely be one I would integrate into the Lego City. So definitely a buy day one. Awesome set. The Crown, a piece of history by Pyroton. I like the different jewels and the details on there. Stargate SG-1 Embarkation Room. Starbrick SG-1, awesome. I like that. That's a cool set. I'm not a huge Stargate person, but definitely see how that could be a big set. A lot of minifigures in that set. The Ross Cosmos spacecraft right, cool tom brick i like that a lot i know there's a big demand for a lot of space sets out there i personally would not buy a day one but again that's only because i don't collect the the space sets motorized howls moving castle eric lego 321 that's interesting a lot of detail on that one we have another stargate set by captain Murad there medieval seaside market now that would be tempting for me to buy day one i don't collect medieval stuff right now but it's definitely in the future here i Feel like i'm probably going to be expanding the horizon of different sets that i purchase and collect brick boulevard now this one to me honestly just looks like a plain modular that they would release within the modular system it does look a little bit more modern i guess than maybe some of the older modulars like downtown diner and maybe like a fire brigade and stuff like that that they make but that would be an awesome one. If they make that, I'd be buying that day one, depending on the price. It looks like it's a big set, so it might be a little more expensive. But Retro Comic Store by Lego Overwatch. And sorry, that was by Bricky Brick. Definitely heard that name before. Uh, Retro Comic Store by Lego Overwatch. It looks small. To, I'd be interested to see how big that set is, but I like that. Shrek Swamp 20th Anniversary, Real Ash and Flash. That's cool. I, I'm a huge fan of... A uh, huge fan of Shrek. So if that gets made, I'm, I'm buying that day one. Uh, Baby Green Sea Turtle Kinetic by Quaint Wolf 082. That is really cool. That would be one that I would honestly display. And I think my kids would love that too. I love the different detail with the moss and some of the seaweed down there. That's cool. The humpback whale, that's different. I like the different layers of the different colors. And the whale looks really cool. It looks like a thin layer of brick on there with a minifigure. Uh, that's cool. That's different. I like that. I could see that one being made. Shrek Swamp by Daniel Bradley. I got another Shrek Swamp one, but I like the I like the combination. I like the mini figures, I think, in this one and the different colors in the one previously, but I like the door there of the outhouse. That's cool. Hey, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Cool, 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 cool. A big fan. Well, Jake and Amy Peralta action. I need to talk to Brick Artisan to get that made into a uh, floor for the um, sitcom tower, but I do like it. LED lamp, like the different colors, Max Bridge, Bricks Coffee, Unimaru Brick 8. That would be one I would purchase for the Lego City. Again, we're big, big Lego City people. We have a large city, a greenery area. If you don't know our, if you haven't checked our channel, please check it out. The Ogle Creek Sawmill, 
I like that. I like the tree. I like the different truck there. Hollow Knight, I I don't know if I would get that, but I know that there's a lot of people out there that would. Very cool set. Ben Osborne, Lego Godzilla. I mean, that looks like a set you'd put Matt Easy 72E720. That looks like a Godzilla you'd put next to like the Hulkbuster. <laughs> I'd be interested to see how, how big that set is. Claws Toys. Oh, that's beautiful. That would be one of you. It's kind of one you could put into your city. Bricky Brick again, man. Yeah, it's a great set. Um, one you could put out at like Christmas time, but then one you could actually put back in your Lego city. So that's that's cool. I like that. Where's Waldo? I grew up on Where's Waldo. I, I love the books. Now I hope it. I'd, I'd have to like set him aside though, because I'd probably lose him in the book itself. <laughs> but Twilight, uh, definitely seen Twilight a few different times. I like the the, the modernized house there with you know, the little werewolf. Trains, I'm a big sucker for trains. I need to switch out our current train that we have with the Hogwarts Express, the old one, and especially with the release of the new one. We Riverside Lodge, that would be really cool to um, integrate into our, our Lego City, but in like our greenery area in the corner there. Uh, so I'd definitely be buying that. Uh, Tarama, I like that. Daft Punk, the robots, Elliot O'Brien, very cool. Catan, haven't played Catan in a while, but definitely a very cool set to uh, you know bring back some memories for me here. Monsters Inc. Big Mike Wazowski fan. I think that's cool. A door to Monstropolis by Holly on film. Very cool. So I'd be buying that one for sure. The Family House by Rock the Brick. I like it. Multi tool tall guy bricks. That's funny. That's actually pretty cool. I like the utility tool there for for Lego. The Portal Two Quantum Tunneling Device. That's cool. A little display set for kind of those futuristic sets that people collect. Um, Legoland Central Station. That's one I like that. I know we've seen some central like train stations here uh, through like Bricklink and other people, you know, designing them. Patchio, great set. Mind the Brick, awesome set. I would buy that day one. I think that would be cool to put in the city. I really like these sets with the different frames. Um, I, I know we have some that are more like Marvel or Star Wars based, but I think that'd be cool with a little ET minifigure to display in the city. Um, hang on the walls there. We have some geodes by G-Man, 13579. I do like the hammer there. I don't know if I would build the geode itself, but I do like the hammer. The scream, well, that's kind of cool. That's different. Definitely different than I'm, different than we've seen so far. Um, we have the elephant fountain, something we could put like downtown uh, by some of the larger sets. We have a large set that we are building here in the next couple of weeks. We have the Lego astronaut, another Lego, another astronaut or um, uh, space set by Lego Truman. That's very unique. Iron Giant, grew up on Iron Giant. Pretty sure I had that on like VHS as a kid. Uh, Robotic Mech Factory by the B3, that's cool. That's it's different. I don't know if I'd purchase it, but I think that there's a big uh, group out there that would. Bluey again, I'm a big Bluey fan. Uh, we put Bluey on for our kids every once in a while. I think I get more invested in Bluey than my kids do. I relate to that dad so much. I think he's he's hilarious and so realistic. Uh, Narudu, I like the different, uh, different minifigures there. That's cool by Daddy Twins. DuckTales, big DuckTales fan. I like the money bin there. Um, I don't know if I like the outside. It's just very too uh, the, very too bright for me, or it's very too, a little too bright for me, but I think that it's a cool side. I like the money bank itself there. Bionicle, Toehead statue, Yannick Brick buildings, very cool. Face Brick up, I like the DJ Chiama. Uh, Metropolitan, this is something I'm interested in doing in my Lego City, knocking out a few of our supports underneath our second tier and really displaying more of our, our train that goes under there. Classic telephone. That's cool. I'd say I would love to see a big Wednesday Adam set or like the Adams family set. If they have one, welcome to Ophelia hall, that stained glass though in the back is absolutely, that's cool. I'd be interested to see is, is that one piece. Oh man, that'd be really cool. I'd buy it just for that one piece. That's cool. Welcome to Narnia. Interesting. I like the little sleigh and elk. I think that's what that is. A reindeer. Um, some of those many figures are pretty sick. I like that. Stardew Valley Farmhouse, I could see us putting that in like our greenery area or like in between our city and our greenery area. Parks and Rec, another great one. Man, Brooklyn 99 and Parks and Rec, they're hitting on some good ones. Antique Cabinet, I like some of these different sets. It's kind of mixing things up here. Gilmore Girls, I can happily say I've never seen a Gilmore Girls episode. Nothing against it, just not really big into it. Cool Runnings, I used to love that, that movie growing up. Sanka Bassoon, awesome. A little more display model like that. This is one, one direction I heard my friend was talking about this and kind of joking about it. I kind of, uh, I had this phase where I used to spike my hair all the time. I was big into one direction, but yeah, please don't go look me up on Facebook. It's, 
it, it was not good. SJ's workshop, beautiful. I like the little van there, the VW Volkswagen. Harry Styles, Harry's house, that's a cool set. Black pink, how you like that? Lantern in the wind. Ooh, Alton, there we go. I would buy that day one hands down. I like that. That would be cool next to like a um like a cemetery or something. SpongeBob SquarePants, Bikini Bottom, Vaco, and who makes that? Yang Yang. Awesome sets, you guys. These are so cool. Bricklink, um, Lego color table. Ah, that's cool. It's unique. I like that. Moon Earth Company Sharky Bricks. Another one. I, I love the layering on that. I think the different colors layering, super unique. I'd hang that up in my Lego City. Taylor Swift. I know she she's on tour. Everybody's posting about going to her concerts. That's probably I'll probably do really good. Lucy thirty three. Ice cream parlor. Oh, Bricky Brick again, man. You got some awesome sets, man. These are beautiful. I'd love to pick up any of the any of the sets that you made. Elf the movie. Again, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Elf, we got Parks and Rec. I pick up all those. Double Helix Coasters, Edith's Owl's House, Wizard's Hut, J.K. Brick. Again, another kind of medieval set. Or maybe not necessarily medieval, but uh, yeah, J.K. Brick. It's a very cool set. I like that. Hourglasses by Brick Dangerous, Small Shrimp Boat. And our last one, The Vintage Radio by Dime X Art. So many cool sets, everybody. Again, 71 different sets compared to like 51 next year. I wonder if they're going to end up raising it from 10,000 supporters to 15,000 supporters at some point, but it's really cool. I like them. I like all of them. I want them all. <laughs> I still don't know how Lego is going to break it down from 71 down to around 15 sets to be released for next year. So I'm excited to see which ones they choose. And for those people that do have their sets chosen to be released by Lego Ideas, what will happen is they will receive 1% of... Uh, net market sales. They'll also receive 10 of their own sets as well as a story published about them. Now for the other people that receive 10,000 supporters and don't get their set chosen, what will happen is they will actually receive $500 worth of Lego sets for themselves. So super cool that everybody kind of gets their own thing, especially if you don't if your set isn't Joseph P. One of the Lego Idea sets. So super cool. Thank you again, everybody, for tuning in. My name's Ben. Thanks for dropping on by to Bangers Bricks. And please make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.